In today's quick video, we'll look at how to create halftone patterns in Affinity Designer. You can create cool patterns like this in just a few seconds. Now currently, there is no halftone tool in Affinity Designer. I'll show you a workaround for creating one. But first, if you have Affinity Photo, you should know that there is a halftone tool in that program. I'm here in Affinity Photo, and I've just created this simple gradient here. If you want to create halftones in Affinity Photo, you can do that with Live Filters down here on the right. I'll click Live Filters, and then I can click Halftone. And I have a whole bunch of options for creating halftone patterns. I have several videos on my channel about using halftones in Infinity Photo, so search my channel for halftones if you want to see how those work. Or you can check out the one hour live stream I just recorded. I'll post a link in the description below. But we're talking about Affinity Designer here today, so I'm back in that program. Now the way we can create halftones in Affinity Designer is to use the Power Duplicate feature. Let me show you how that works. First I'll draw a black circle. I'll click the Circle tool over here, it's called the Ellipse tool. I'll just draw a little circle here. Hold Shift to confine it to a circle. Now with my circle selected, I'm going to hit Enter. And now we have this Move Duplicate menu. This will allow us to repeat a shape and also make changes to it. So first thing I'm going to do is click Duplicate here. And then I'm going to click and drag and I'll slide the number of copies up to maybe 20. We can change it later. Now you haven't noticed any difference yet, but the key is to start changing these other parameters here. So first I'll change the horizontal parameter. I can do this by clicking and dragging on the name. So I'll click and drag to the right. And you can see I'm creating more of that shape. I'm actually creating 20 copies. And I can drag it out as far as I like. And you could do this to create a uniform series of dots. But the cool thing is we can also change the size of them. So using the scale here, I'll drag it down a little bit, maybe to 97%. And you can see that the dots are getting smaller here. Let me make it 95. I'll hit enter. So now we have dots getting smaller as they go to the right. And I can fine tune the horizontal spacing here. I'll click horizontal, make them a little bit closer to each other. I can also increase the number of copies. So I'll make it go out further this way. And there are other settings you can experiment with if you like, but I think this looks good here. So I'll click OK. And now we have a series of dots here. Now what I'll do is I'll click and drag over all of them. So I've selected all my dots. And let's use the power duplicate feature again. I'll hit enter. This time I want to go downward. So once again, I'll check duplicate. Let's do 20 again. Now I want to go vertical. So with vertical, I'll click and drag, and I can move the dots down. And you can see I'm getting this halftone pattern here. And when I'm done, I can click OK. And now we have our halftone gradient. Keep in mind that this will create a lot of ellipse objects here in your layer stack. You can see there's probably hundreds of them. If you create too many, it might slow down your computer, so be aware of that. This method doesn't give you the full flexibility to edit the halftone like Affinity Photos Control does, but there's still some tricks you can do with it. I've taken all my dots here and I put them in a group. With my group selected, I can change the stroke here. So I'll click Stroke. I'll make it black. Then I'll go to the Stroke Control. And I can change the width. So I can make my halftone darker. Just keep in mind that for the smallest dots, if you zoom in, if you make your stroke too big, it'll start to pull apart from the center there. So make sure that doesn't happen. I also like to have the stroke aligned to the center. If you have it aligned to the outside, you'll get other crazy effects. So I'll zoom out. You can see the effect that's having. Maybe it's kind of cool, something you want. But in general, I like to have it aligned to the center here. And just keep an eye on these smallest dots here. And I can add warp filters to it. So I'll click the warp group here. I can add a fisheye warp to it. I can create all sorts of cool designs here. Drag these lines around. I could also change it to a perspective warp. I'll select perspective. And I could change it like this. You can also change the color of your halftone. I can change the color up here. I can change it to red, teal. And it also works with the gradient tool. So I'll select the gradient tool. I can click and drag. And I can make this second color something different. Maybe red. Move it over here. And we have this nice color variation here. So that's a quick way to make a halftone pattern in Affinity Designer. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.